Yo, Elliot, I'm talking to a woman who is unlike the everyday female. She doesn't shake her ass on TikTok. She doesn't even post on social media. She's submissive, clingy, and really makes me the center of her universe, it seems. She cooks, she cleans, she's good with money, but she's not a career girl. In fact, I'd say she'd rather stay at home. She says she'd rather stay at home. But the downside, she complains about her living situation with her family a lot and can be overly negative about the things which can be draining to listen to uh, after a while, especially after a hard day's work. Uh, she also doesn't have a relationship with God, is unsure about her political views. On top of that, she's also unsure about making babies. Part of me is telling me that it wouldn't work because of the downsides. But another part of me is telling me to push it through and do what men do, lead and she will follow. Given the information above, do you think it would be unreasonable to keep searching for the right woman to marry and make babies with, especially in this day and age where a good woman is hard to come by? You know, one of the things that irritates, you know, a lot of men complain about this with regard to women, justifiably, uh, is that they want everything in a man, right? And there's no such thing as a perfect man. They want six foot six with a six inch and making six figures and you know, and then they're like that's one percent of the men out there but they and then they tell women tell each other don't you settle girl don't you settle and these women are they look for something that's all out of proportion to what their value really is and they and they end up searching 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 for this unicorn that first of all is way out of your league and, and second of all doesn't exist uh and then they end up being old cat miserable lonely cat ladies right Men, we can, we can get into the same sort of thing too. And of course, I, what you're looking for are good things. And of course, they may be hard to come by. But I think in this situation, the good outweighs the bad, right? She, you say that she, first of all, she doesn't social and post, post on social media. That's big. That's huge today, right? Because these women are so addicted to validation that even when they're in a relationship, I see some women who I know are married. I know your husband, but all she got on pic on her Instagram is pictures of her. I'm like, what? Where is your husband? Where is your family? Why are you advertising? Oh, but and you know what they say? Oh, I'm just doing it for me. No, you're not. You're doing it for what it does for you, which is gets you attention. So I that's that's a immediate no deal deal breaker for me. So that's great. She doesn't do that. You say she's submissive, meaning she follows your lead, right? That alone is putty in your hands. That alone is potential, right? With regard to a woman, because it's in her nature to follow. It's in a nature, in a woman's nature to follow. They would say that it's not, but if she's not following a righteous man, she's going to follow something. All women follow. And if they're not following you, she's going to be following her boss or she's going to be following her friends or she's going to be following what people do on social media or she's going to be following the celebrities or she's going to be following what they talk show hosts say on The View. She's going to be following something. Women are going to follow something. A woman is an empty vessel. She is a tabla rasa. A woman operates based on the imprint that's being made on her, and they're more receptive. That's their nature. Just think about the, 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 the form equals function. Like I said before, what is a woman? She's an open vessel. She has an opening in her body to receive a pattern, an imprint, right? That's what a man's seed is. What is a seed? It's, it captures the, 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 uh, the, the pattern of something. Right? That's what they call it, paternity. Right? You put your pattern into the empty vessel and that empty vessel can turn it into something. So a woman is looking to be imprinted upon. And if she is a feminist or of the feminist mindset, she don't want to be imprinted on by her husband, which is the dumbest thing ever. It's like, don't you want an imprint from the man that loves you and has dedicated his life to you? No, I ain't following no man. Okay. Well, then you just follow, you follow your tabloids, celebrities and shit like that. That's what they do, right? So any woman who says she's not submissive is not paying attention. Or oh, you're submissive, all right, just to the wrong things, <laughs> right? You say that she's clingy. Well, maybe you like that, but, you know, clingy, when I hear clingy, I, I think cloying, but a woman who wants you. 
is a nice thing, right? She wants to want you. She wants to be around you. If that means clingy, then then that's a good thing. My wife wants to be around me, right? If I'm working a lot, like usually on Thursdays, she misses me. Or last night, she took the she had to, she took all the kids to uh, my daughter's soccer game, and uh, I stayed home because I had things to do. And she came home. She, I missed you. That's nice, right? I don't know if it's clingy, but it's nice. I like that my wife would rather be around me than not be around me, and vice versa. Uh, she makes you the center of her universe. That, that's a nice thing. She cooks, she cleans, she's good with money. She's not a career girl. I mean, these are all good things. She'd rather stay at home. I like that. I, I don't know. Not all guys like this, but that's what I would, I would prefer that stuff with a woman. Um, making, making you the center of her universe means that she's going to be a good mom because she's going to, when she sees relationship with, her husband as, as a, a significant part, part of her core identity, she then wants to be a good mother, right? Not all women, just because they can make babies, become good mothers because they're not, they're not home-centered. They're not family-centered. They're not husband and child-centered. They're ego-centered. They're centered on what's going on out there with their career, with their social media, or in the tabloids and pop culture. They're all out of the place. They're centered on something. Something is the center of their universe. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it. But why not make your family, your husband, your your home, your children, the center of universe? So these are good things. Now she complains about her living situation with her family. She's a woman. She's going to complain. It's her job to complain, and she might complain about you at some point. And you got to get used to the fact that she's going to complain. A woman complains not because she wants you to fix something. It's but the woman complains or 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 nags or whines because that's what she's feeling. I know that's hard for us to understand, really hard for us to understand. And, I, and if you have, I have daughters and I, I had a wake up call with one of my daughters this week because I realized that I was taking her emotional state personally. Cause I'm like, well, you're my daughter. I'm trying to fix this for you. Right. For my wife or for, you know, the advice that I would give men, I'd say, don't try to fix her problem. But I forgot, wait, my daughter's a girl. And she like, she reminded me this. She said to me, dad, you're always trying to solve my problem. When I come to you, you're always trying to give, and my wife does this too, uh, to her. You guys are always trying to give me advice. I don't want advice. I just want a hug. And I was like, boom, my mind was blown. I was like, I know that. I know that with regard to women. But I forgot that you're my daughter. You're a little girl. She don't want my advice. She don't want me to fix her problem. She just want me to listen and she just want me to hug her. She want me to be there for her, right? This is, this is one of my daughters. She's super feminine. I, I recognize that about her too because she confuses me. She, and sometimes like we'll have conversations and I'm like, well, what is the actual problem? And I try to like get to the bottom of it with her and then she gets frustrated and like, I'm trying to help you. Can you please verbalize the problem for me? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, and now I realize, like I said, it was an epiphany for me. She doesn't even know what the problem is. She just wants to whine. She just wants to feel bad. And when a woman wants to feel a certain way, you just got to be a rock for her. There, there. It's okay. There, there. Don't worry. It'll all be over soon. There, there. I love you. That's really what she wants. At least my daughter. And It sounds like you're a woman who seems to be a very feminine woman. That's what she's doing. She's complaining about her family. Uh, she can be overly negative about things, which is draining. What you've got to do, look, I know this sounds crazy, right? But negative, women are negative. They're the negative polarity. The male is positive po po polarity. A woman is negative polarity. Even when I said with regard to their, to their womb, the womb is a negative. It's a minus. There's an emptiness. A man is positive. There is, there's something that we give. We're extroverted, right? So I know I'm being sort of poetic about this, but you got to know as a man how to not tolerate, not fix, not deal with her negativity, but to fulfill it. Fulfill it. Just like that space. A woman wants to be fulfilled. That's what a woman really wants. They want to be fulfilled fully filled up because they're empty. There's a negative, right? And I'm not saying that in a bad way. This is just sexual dynamics. So with her negativity, fulfilling her negativity means let her be negative. 
Let her be negative. Let her get it off her chest. There, there. Now, don't take it as pressure that she wants you to do something about it. Don't put that pressure on yourself unless she says, you need to do something about this. Well, then you, now, well, okay, wait a second. I thought you were just complaining. I thought you were just being negative. That's okay. When you fulfill a woman that way, you can't, you can't go down that hole with her. That's the other thing. To fill her up, you can't put your, you can't fill her up with you. That's another thing. Because then you get wrapped up in that negativity. You down in the hole of her. You could only way you can fulfill is if is by standing outside and, and filling her up. And how do you fill her up? Not by solving her problem, but by making making the lack whole. And you make the lack whole by holding space. You just listen to her. Just listen to her, right? With regard to God. Don't worry about it so much. The political views, don't worry about it so much. If she's truly the feminine woman that she seems to be, women don't want to be told what to do. They want to be seduced into what to do. They want to be, they need to be given time. Just like a man, you know, a man, when a man wants to have sex, he's ready, right? But a woman makes, takes time to warm up. My mom always says a man is like a blowtorch. A woman is like an oven. Well, what do you do with the oven? You, you, you turn it on, right? And you got to wait for it to warm up. When you present ideas that are foreign to her, as is with my wife and any other woman, she needs time to warm up. And if you're hot for God, meaning you know you're you're zealous and you're praying, and she sees you pray, and she sees you going to church, and she sees the way you are, and she knows who you are, she wants what you got. Jesse Lee Peterson says that uh, women don't have a life. Women don't have a life. They get their life from their man. In many ways, this is true, right? But, you know, we live in a weird a world that's a little different. But by nature, a woman, want, she gets her life from you. How do you know that's true? Because that's where she gets the seed to make her babies. You give her life. The man gives life to a woman, right? That's why Eve came from Adam's side. The man gives life to a woman. You give her her place. You give her her, her, her family. You give her her purpose, right? So she wants you to give her that relationship for God, especially if she can't get it herself, which is partly female nature. That's another story. It's men that are usually attracted to religion. Today, because we've been swapped and everything's backwards, it's not so much the case. Mostly women are at the church. But if you notice, all religions are started by men. They're led by men. You know, there's, look at all the Abrahamic faiths. Even in Hinduism uh, and religions of the East, it's men. It's men's religion because men are, we're sons of God, right? We are the first, right? Don't expect your woman to have religious fervor right out, right out the bat, especially if her father didn't have religious fervor. A young lady will often get religious fervor, fervor from her father or God the Father touches her, right? And in other words, God comes to her, you know, like St. Faustina. Right. God came to her and was like, OK. But that's not, you know, you can't expect that to happen. And same thing with her political view. She has to see you, know you and trust you as you are in relationship to God and your political views. And then she's going to warm up to that. If she's truly a feminine woman, that's not resisting you because she don't want to be submissive. Right. She's, a lot of these women just fight because they want to fight and they don't realize that hey, you're fighting the thing. The very thing that's going to give you life is what you're fighting. And. You're going to submit to something, so might as well make it be me. So she, if she's not going to fight you on these things, you don't have to force it on her. You just got to be the thing, and you're going to imprint yourself on her. Now, I wouldn't allow that to be left up to chance. I would speak about it from time to time, but not in a pressing way, in an, in an inviting way, right? Because a woman, just like a man, doesn't want. nobody wants to be forced into anything. No woman, no man wants to be forced. None. She don't want to be forced and she don't want to be, she don't want to be uh, manipulated. You don't manipulate her. You just impress her. You impress. And how do you impress? By being you and pressing your love up against her. Right? Be me and impress yourself against her with loving embrace. And she'll take you on. She's also unsure about making babies. Well, again, you impress upon her what you want. 
you and, and without having to force it this is a beautiful thing with women i don't think we have to force anything women women don't want to be forced but they enjoy being seduced they enjoy that seductive dance right that's why you know there's an old school saying that you know no means yes with a woman and i'm not abdicating for rape or something like that it's ridiculous but when a woman says no, it doesn't actually mean no. And I, I know that I could catch some flack for that. But no just means you haven't impressed me enough yet. That's all it means. No means I'm not sure yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play safe and say no until, what does she do? She's going to warm up a little bit, right? She warms up a little bit, right? And as she warms up, she opens up, just like the sex organ. As she warms up, she opens up. And what does a woman do when she opens up? She lays back. And what happens when she lays back? She receives. But the only way that happens is if you're seducing, you're warm. Not in a manipulative way, in a loving way, right? Paternal love, right? I know what's best for you. But you don't say that. You don't ever say that to her. But you know what's best for her. It's best for her to have a relationship with God. There's no question about that. It's best for her to make babies, especially if you're going to be married to her, right? And you want babies. So, I mean, otherwise, why be in the relationship, right? Of course, it's best for her because if you're going to be with me, then we got to do something together, which is make a family. And it's best for you to do what I'm talking about here. But you don't know that yet. So I'm going to be I'm going to be patient with you. And then, of course, all of this is a tender dance, meaning you got you, 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 there, you got to be a tender aggressive because you can become completely flaccid. And then that makes a woman anxious because she doesn't trust you because you're not strong enough to impress yourself upon her. And then she's confused. And when a woman's confused, they become aggressive, they become uh, masculine and because she doesn't trust you to lead. Because you're not leading. You're not telling. She, uh, another thing is women want to be told. What, they want to be told what to do. Like I said, but not in, a, not in an overt way. They want to be shown what to do with love. So part of me is telling me that it wouldn't work because of the downsides. What should I do? Push through and lead. What you get to do is paint a, a vision for her. Like I spoke to somebody earlier today with regard to his wife not following through with management of the home, maybe she doesn't know your vision and you haven't taken time to warm her up to the vision. So I would say that you need to do a little bit more of that. Given the information above, do you think it's reasonable to keep searching for the right woman? She could be it, especially in this day. I, you know, it seems like you have something invested in her. I don't know how long you've been together. It seems like you have something invested in her. For a man, I, I, I don't want to waste my time jumping, hopping from, you know, women monkey branch. I don't think men are designed to monkey branch. Why do women monkey branch and men shouldn't? Women monkey branch because they get their life from a man. Like I said, wow, this man's got a yacht. This man's got a fast car. This man's got a big vision. This man's got a business. And they monkey branch and they monkey branch and they, and they, get, their, they get their life from a man, but a man, I'm losing my focus here, I'm losing my vision. But a man takes a woman in and as a result invests in her. So you don't want to be investing, right? And then I'm going to throw that away and I'm going to invest over here. I'm going to throw that away and I'm going to invest over there. You want to find something that's worth investing in, put all your eggs in that basket. This is why divorce is so so horrific for men because men do that kind of investing not to say that women don't invest too but women can monkey branch because a woman could leave one man and be taken on a ride to heaven with another man a woman a man with a woman a woman a woman is not going to a date down right she's not going to date down she's going to date up a man is willing to date down because we want I want to bring a woman up I want to take care of you. I want to help you. I want to invest in you. I want to make you great. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? It's not the other way around, although Hollywood will tell us otherwise. And these simps in Hollywood movies, I would be nothing without her. Well, then you went about it the wrong way, dude. Anyway, that's it.
I'm done. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.